Billy D's right here. Hey, if I'm in front of a table like this, we're going to do one of two things. Either we're going to play some blackjack or I'm going to talk about USB versus non-USB microphones. I don't know anything about blackjack. I really don't know anything about blackjack. I'm not kidding. <laughs> but I do know that when I hear people talk about USB microphones, I hear a lot of phrases like a digital mic, a computer mic versus a standard audio mic and so on. Basically what's happening here in the common vernacular is that they're getting connectivity confused with types of microphones. When professionals ask each other, what type of microphone are you gonna use? What they're really referring to is the type of microphone that is going to grab the sound. There are basically four different types. Now they all have offshoots, of course, but there are condenser microphones, dynamic, ribbon, and contact microphones. These two microphones have some different features, but they are both condenser microphones. That is, they both grab sound in exactly the same way. Both are side address microphones, and we'll talk more about that later, and they both require power to work. This microphone, being a USB microphone, goes directly into USB. This audio microphone has a standard XLR audio out. With this XLR microphone, this would be a basic configuration. You would take the signal coming from your microphone and plug it into an interface. It would then go on to your computer via USB. This interface would power the condenser microphone with phantom power. You could also take a headset like this, plug it into your interface and monitor your audio while you are recording it. With a USB microphone, you essentially have a situation where this type of device is built into the microphone. When a microphone is plugged into this, the USB connection powers this device and also takes the audio signal from the microphone. You have exactly the same situation when you plug this microphone directly into your computer. As a matter of fact, just like with the USB interface, you can take an audio headset just like this, plug it into this microphone, and monitor what you are recording. Okay, regarding the advantages of separates, in one word I would basically say versatility. For example, with this same interface, I can use any number of microphones. Or, I can take this microphone and plug it into a digital recorder. I can use this microphone and plug it into a mixer. I can also put components in between these two items. I could put a microphone preamp, for example, in between these two. Now, as far as the disadvantages go, well, obviously, there's a certain level of complexity here, and you're going to have to learn how to use it. The second disadvantage would be cost. This alone costs as much, if not more, than many of the USB microphones on the market. USB microphones, such as this one, are essentially plug-and-play devices, meaning you simply take your USB connector and plug it into your computer. It should be good to go. You shouldn't have to mess with any complicated drivers or anything like that. You may, on occasion, have to get into your computer and change some of the audio settings. This microphone is a very popular USB microphone. This is the Blue Yeti. This particular version is called the Blackout for obvious reasons. Now they have some different color options and basically this microphone is around $100, $129, something like that, depending on where you find it and what the deal is that you happen to get. It does have a professional big brother, which is roughly twice the cost. And that pro model does come with an XLR audio out and the USB connection on that mic is 24 bit. This one is 16. Okay, this is a very important point about all of the Blue Yeti microphones. They are side address microphones. As a matter of fact, here is the company website screenshot with an illustration showing this. Now what that means is this. I've noticed a lot of videos online where people are using these things and they got them <laughs> like this. No. If it's just you talking, what I would do is use the cardioid setting and then set the microphone up as such and you want to be talking into the blue logo on the front of the microphone. Okay, quickly to review. USB versus non-USB. These are both condenser microphones. This is a USB microphone that is essentially a combination unit. I've used it myself for quick little jobs where I don't want to carry around a bunch of equipment. 
Combination units are almost always designed also to hit a price point. For that reason, I wouldn't go, me personally, I wouldn't go too much higher than 200, 200 and a half for a USB microphone. If you're going to go north of $250 for a USB microphone, in my opinion, you might as well go separates. Separates will give you the versatility and you can put your dollar where you want it to go. For example, you can get a better interface, a better microphone, and so on. I hope this clears this up. I am Billy Dees, and thank you very much for checking out my video.